we're at the historic Paramount Theater. We're going to see uh, Kevin Smith with his new film, Zack and Miri Make a Porno. Mile three, straight ahead. Tickets? I'm just excited to see him doing a flick that isn't Jay and Silent Bob related, but isn't something family related. As much as I like Jersey Girl. Hi. Where am I going? To go. I've read only good stuff. Like, the lowest review I've seen has, was a 7 out of 10, which is still positive. It's all been, you know, stupid uh, online Joe Blow, ain't it cool news reviews for people who saw it at Toronto, but the word's good so far. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's talk while they're taking Okay, pictures. yes. I'm Henry, I'm from the Alamo. How are you, sir? Good to meet you. Uh, are you more excited uh, about the Americanness of this premiere or like the regular level of excitement right now? Uh, I don't, I'm just saying that there's they got a long way to go to beat the Toronto reaction. Yeah. That was pretty sweet. Canadian reaction was nice, but if it's going to get received well anywhere, it's going to be here. Before we came to Austin, Texas, my wife and I ran a little movie theater in uh, Bakersfield, California, and it was a financial disaster. Uh, but one of, there was only a couple of bright, shining moments in the two-year history that we had there. It was every single uh, heavy metal concert or punk rock show, and it was two or three movies. And there was a couple movies that took us through the bad times and allowed us to eat really bad crock pot cooking and, uh, you know, that's about all I could afford. But still, there was one film in particular that no other theater in Bakersfield, let alone Central California, would touch. And that is a movie that got an NC-17 rating, and that's a movie called Clerks. And I paid my bills for six straight weeks in the vacuum of Central California. Ever since that time, I've been a huge fan. Since then, I've, I've had an opportunity to meet the living legend himself. Sort of, I'm going to call him, I don't know if he likes this title, fuck it. All right, King of the Dorks. All right, man, he's, he's like the spokesperson. For the disenfranchised, genre-loving generation, Mr. Kevin Smith, would you please take the stage? Playing poker at, a, at our comic book store in Los Angeles, and our comic book store is housed inside this DVD store called Laser Blade, which has been around for a while. So I'm doing well. I've got, you know Laser Blade? <laughs> Um, go there now for all your DVDs. <laughs> so I was doing well in the tournament and I felt like, you know what, I gotta take a shit so I'm gonna bag out for a minute, I'll be right back. Go downstairs to the bathroom, and I've never been in a laser blazer bathroom before. And it was built in like, I don't know, 1984 or something like that. Every toilet I've ever sat on in my life looks like every toilet you've ever seen, where there's a bowl and it's sitting on a, on a, a you know, a stem of some sort. I don't know what they call that part. Basically, there's support from underneath, so when you sit on it, it doesn't go where it is. <laughs> this toilet just jutted out from the wall with nothing underneath. So it was almost like a urinal toilet, an extended urinal. So I'm looking at it like, this, this can't be good. But I had to go, and I was just like, oh, what am I fucking kidding? This, this shit never happens, only in movies. <laughs> so I sat down on the bowl, and sure enough, I heard her. <laughs> so I decided to do that thing that every chick you've ever met tells you they do in a public bathroom. This is balance on the haunches. <laughs> so I'm doing the hover, <laughs> dropping the kids off at the pool, and... That part of it's over and I gotta get into the next part of it, so I'm like, I can't balance and reach back or forward, because sometimes I'm a front wiper. Just pull up. So I was like, you know what, I gotta rest on the bowl to do this. So I sit on the bowl and it a little bit more. I lean forward and get to wipe it, and there's this moment where I'm like, I should flush it. Just in case. <laughs> and then I was like, no, that's wishing bad things to happen. So, <laughs> to name it is to claim it, don't fucking go there. So, um, get down to the last stroke and shit, and all of a sudden, <laughs> the toilet went from this to this. <laughs> and I'm sliding off the ground. <laughs> and I'm quickly fucking like trying to figure out what to do because I'm like, if it. If I move, the bowl continues to its downward journey, and the contents, the soup, <laughs> winds up in my, my drawers, which are around my angles and shit. I don't carry a change of fucking clothes. <laughs> I didn't then, I do now. Um, so I'm like, how do I get out of it? And then I 
decided that I couldn't risk just slowly getting up because it might just tumble, and so I said, I just gotta throw myself. So I hurled myself across the room into the door and quickly looked back to see if anything was coming out. And um, I looked at the bowl and got my first view, and the porcelain was literally fucking cracked. And at that point, you would imagine like a smart man would be like, it's time to start eating greens. Um, <laughs> But all I could think about was like, there are people outside the door that have to use the bathroom, and if I walk out, I can't blame this on anybody. <laughs> so I just stood in there for 15 minutes staring at it, going like, I can't believe it's come to this. And finally I opened the door a crack, and Ron, the guy that owns the place, is in another room, so I asked the dude who's standing right outside the door, I'm like, could you go get Ron? And the dude looks at me like, why? <laughs> So he does, and Ron comes, and he comes back, and, and I bring him in, I quickly shut the door, and I'm like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> And uh, he looks at it, and he looks at me, and he's like, nobody ever has to know. <laughs> that experience is exactly like watching Zack and Mary make a porno. <laughs> Hopefully y'all enjoy the click afterwards with a little Q&A and then we're going to watch people pretend to fuck on stage.